Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 20 in this series and is entitled Abstraction in Java. This tutorial is dependent on the previous video, so I suggest that you first see lesson 19 before proceeding with this one. Abstraction is an OOP concept to make a class abstract. To make it abstract means declaring similar fields and methods of subclasses. Like a normal class, an abstract class has a constructor, and as mentioned, fields and methods. Furthermore, it cannot be instantiated, meaning you cannot declare an object for an abstract class. It is subclassed or extended, meaning it should always be declared as a parent. It is used only as a template for subclasses. And it can have methods called abstract methods that has no implementation but must be implemented in the subclass. Let's revisit activity number 38 from lesson 19. In the project inheritance sample, we have three classes. The inheritance sample, the Saudi national, and the Saudi student. The Saudi national is what we declared as the superclass. The Saudi student was declared as the subclass. And the inheritance sample class is the class where we instantiated the subclass Saudi student. The Saudi national superclass has three fields, national ID, insurance, and stipend. The Saudi student subclass has five, three of which came from the Saudi national superclass and two were declared on its own, the student ID and allowance. The Saudi national superclass has four methods, set national ID, set insurance, set stipend, and display details. The Saudi student subclass has seven, four of which came from the Saudi national superclass, and three were declared inside, set student ID, set allowance, and display additional student details. For activity number 39, we will continue with the inheritance sample project. We will retain the instantiation of the Saudi student subclass, but this time, we're going to instantiate Saudi National Superclass with initial values NID 1990, 200, 200,000, and 30,000. And then we're going to display the details and run the project. First, let's put uh, a line to separate the two uh, details using print line. Then we can now instantiate the Superclass Saudi National let's use the name national is equal to new Saudi national and the initial values NID 1990 200 comma 300 uh, 200,000 and 30,000 and let's display the details by using the display details method you can see that there are only three fields and we can see also the four methods. Let's use display details and run it. There you have it. This, are, this is the instantiation of the subclass and this is the instantiation of the superclass. We're done with numbers one and two, so we'll proceed with number three. We will revise the Saudi National Superclass and change it to Abstract Public Class Saudi National. We'll simply insert the word abstract before the word public. Then we will go back to Inheritance Sample Class and see the error. Later, we will remove the Saudi National instance and run it again. Let's double click Saudi National and declare it as abstract. Let's go back to Inheritance Sample Class. And there's the error, Saudi National is abstract and cannot be instantiated. So if we're going to remove it, I'll simply comment it and run it again. There you have it. We can instantiate the subclass but not the superclass anymore since it's already abstract. Let's proceed with activity number 40 and do numbers 1 and 2. Still using the inheritance sample project, we will add in Saudi National class an abstract method shown below. Abstract public double stipend next increase. It's uh, a method that will get the next increase value for the stipend. And then we're going to look at the error in Saudi student class. So let's double click the abstract class Saudi National. 
we're going to insert the abstract methods type and next increase. You can insert it anywhere. I'll insert it after the constructor. Abstract public double stipend next increase. Now you can still have the parentheses, but instead of braces, it should end with a semicolon. So the abstract method was uh, declared but not implemented. You don't have the statements uh, to know what it's going to do. It was just declared. So let's go back to Saudi student subclass, and you can see the error. It is not abstract and does not override the abstract method is type and next increase. So the solution is either to make the Saudi subclass, Saudi student subclass, an abstract class also, or we have to override the abstract method. To continue activity number 40, we're going to add the implementation below in Saudi student class. We will override actually the, uh, the, the stipend next increase method with this statement, we will return the stipend times 0.1. So it's like there's a 10% increase in the stipend and that will be the next increase. And last, we will add in the display additional student details method, a statement to display the value returned by the stipend next increase method, this one. So we'll override the stipend next increase method. You can put it anywhere inside the class. I'll put it after the constructor, so it's uh, public uh, double stipend next increase again the parenthesis but this time it's not a semicolon but we will open and close it with braces and we will simply return the value of the stipend from the superclass times 0.1 which is 10% of the stipend Later, we will go to the display additional student details to add the result. So this is the stipend next increase. So we have to call that method stipend next increase. Okay, now let's go back to inheritance sample and try to run it. There. Our stipend is 20,000. The stipend next increase is 2,000. 2,000 is 10% of 20,000. Well, congratulations. You just implemented an abstract class with an abstract method in Java. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.